Welcome to episode 9 of Battlefield 1 Captured, the series where you tell me what you want to know and you get a chance to win some cool prizes along the way. This week you guys voted for an episode all about Giant Shadow, the brand new multiplayer map coming to Battlefield 1 in December. Some new information dropped last night and we have some more general information as well, so I'm going to round it all up for you in today's episode. That prize though, still one more Xbox One S Battlefield 1 bundle to be given away to one of you guys. This is the last week that you'll have the chance to enter, so make sure you get your votes in as soon as you can. More details to come at the end, but make sure you stay tuned to be in with a chance of winning. So let's take it from the top, a full overview of the giant shadow map coming to Battlefield 1, as if you didn't know anything about it whatsoever. The official description from the Battlefield 1 website is as follows. Battle of the Cell, 1918. The British forces have broken through the Hindenburg Line and are heading towards a strategic railway centre. Fierce combat ensues on the open ground and riverbanks along the kato Wassini Railway. The outcome is uncertain, an armoured train can still turn the tide. Now the Battle of the Cell started very early in the morning, around 5am, and to reflect that, DICE have made the Giant Shadow map an early morning setting. That's one that we haven't seen so far in Battlefield 1. We know every map in the game also has dynamic weather effects, but we don't have any details on what that's going to be yet. The behemoth on the map will be the armoured train, and presumably it will act in the same way that it does for other maps, coming in for the team down on points so they can try and claw their way back into the game. The giant shadow map itself is actually taken from one of the single player missions in Battlefield 1 called Through Mud and Blood. The section used is the town where you need to recover parts for your tank called Black Bess and further beyond that to the train yard standoff zone at the end of the mission. I think it's great that DICE are using some of the single player maps for the multiplayer, especially when it comes in the form of a free DLC. They've already done this with Mont Grappa, which is the map in the single player mission called Avanti Savoia, where you play as a sentry soldier as part of the Italian RDT. And Sinai Desert is the map taken from the single player mission called Nothing Is Written, although in multiplayer the map takes place during the day rather than at night. Previous Battlefield games have used single player assets to build multiplayer maps before as well. With Battlefield 3, we had the Aftermath DLC using lots of buildings and artwork from the campaign and the co-op mode to create a Middle Eastern setting with four maps set around the Aftermath, hence the name, of an earthquake in the region. As for different locations on the Giant Shadow map, we'll be seeing a town area, complete with windmills like we've seen on St Quentin Scar. We'll have open fields for you to try and cross, the river cell running through the middle of the battleground, and the large train yard set off to the top of the map. This train yard area in the single player is a tank battleground, and I really can't imagine it will be any different in the multiplayer. The standout feature though for sure will be that crashed airship. Unlike the airship crashes on other maps where it's the behemoth, much of the shell here on Giant Shadow will remain above the ground and will likely allow players to use it as cover and it will become its own little battleground. We also know the train tracks roll right through the middle of it, so it could make an ideal location for an ambush to get in there and deal some severe damage against that train as it passes. Some of the airship's cannons are still usable on the ground as well. One surprise addition coming with the map is a new gadget. Say hello to your very own World War I grenade crossbow. This gadget will be coming to the support class and it will allow the player to fire two of either the frag or high explosive grenades. This gadget doesn't appear to cancel out the other grenades that you can choose as well so you could be walking around as an explosive death machine. Now I'm guessing it will be a rather popular gadget, but we'll have to wait and see what DICE have done to balance this thing against the other gadgets and the grenades that are in the game. It could become an explosive fest, but I'm going to give it a chance and see what happens on the first couple of days. If it is a grenade fest, I'll be making a video about it. 
I should just point out, if it wasn't 100% clear, this gadget isn't locked to the map. You can use it on any of the maps in multiplayer as long as you're playing the support class. Just wanted to make sure that you didn't get confused there. One final note as well, a patch for Battlefield 1 will be coming very soon as well. Various DICE developers on Twitter have tweeted out that we should expect some patch notes to drop soon. I don't know when that is, but I'll bring you a video here on the channel with all the important changes once those notes get released. Oh, and I probably should tell you when you can actually play the map. That's fairly important. If you pre-ordered Battlefield 1 or you have the premium season pass purchased, you'll get access to the Giant Shadow map on December the 13th. Any other player of Battlefield 1, say you brought the game on release day, or if you've only just bought it, you'll be able to play the map from December the 20th. So there you go, everything we currently know about Giant Shadow and an end to the ninth episode of Battlefield 1 Captured. Make sure you head over to the Battlefield 1 Captured website. The link is on the screen right now, or you can go and click it down in the description and go and answer the question on the page to enter this week's giveaway. That's one of those awesome Xbox One S Battlefield 1 bundles. Answer the question correctly and you could be in with a chance of winning. You need to click on the video at the top of the page to answer that question. Next week is the last episode of the series, and I'll be summing it up all for you just before Christmas. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.